It's April the 18th. As you all know, that date holds two special significances. It commemorates Paul Revere's famous ride through the Massachusetts countryside. And, of course, it is the day John Kirkland Piper was born into this world. So, to honor both occasions, I have written this piece of poetry. Listen, my children, to a story that's spot on. Of the midnight tale of old John Rotten. On the 18th of April, in 48, before Hawaii was even a state, when they'd pay a dime a day for picking cotton. Meanwhile, the word through alley and street was, who needs alarms or roaster to tweet? Granddaddy and Tuddy, with eager ears, had no peace and quiet, the worst of their fears. For John Rotten was born with that year splitting snore, and no one would sleep for the next 18 years. He once said to friends, the walkers need watching. At their lumber company grounds tonight. Bring out the risk, but I'll play a black. How shocking. Let's play till the morning or out breaks a fight. One if it's land, and two if it's sea. My armies built up on my borders will be. John Rotten was ready with this one alarm. To every quad city's village and farm. Attempts to hold Europe will bring you to harm. On one starry night, and with muffled door. Cousins and brothers rode to the shore. Just as the moon rose over the lake, while swinging knives at fish they might bake, his foot was sliced open down to its core. A perilous slip, a razor-sharp blade, carry me out, to his cousin he bade. Step by step, carried, teetered along, until dropped and left bleeding for a two-hour wait. Once when out driving a shoal city street, fate would ensure that two young souls would meet. Avoiding the chores he should be doing instead, all traffic laws heeded, surely no foot of lead. Towards an intersection just up ahead, where octagonal signs in the color of red, stood proudly warning that drivers should stop, drove home a young lady from the ice cream shop. Their cars, they collided. Was there any doubt? That John Rotten would there and then ask her out. Oh, by the way, her father's a cop. Quickly they married and off they embark, joining the navy to see the wide world. Virginia, and Key West and Hong Kong unfurled, only sometimes leaving her flat broke on the dock. Yet, after all, through the dark and the light, the family they founded somehow came out right. Sharing Star Wars and beaches and rustic campsites, his children grew up, like most do, he supposes. With wonderfully few psychiatric psychoses, especially with what his backyard exposes as the umpteenth dearest beloved pet decomposes. Retirement in full swing, his office, the couch, the no longer required, John Rotten's no slouch. At two on the clock he's awake and bright-eyed. As John became poppy, so turned the tide. You know the rest. The cassettes you'll have heard. From John Rotten secretly taping your words. From weddings to cookouts to turkey bowl footballs, to children's first words, or winter's first snowfalls. Preserving his life for posterity's chase, still insisting his jeans have a 32 waist. And cutting out shirt sleeves to make his own vest, that say, mess with the best and you'll die like the rest. So, on rides John Rotten, year after year, posting on Facebook each day's special charm. To every quad city's village and farm, a way to live happy today most sincere. From the forest primeval, a knock at the door. With the word that shall echo forevermore. For, born on the night wind of the past, through his sixty-three years, from the first to the last. In your hour of darkness and peril and need, whether penniless in Frisco, or from feet do you bleed. Awaken and hurry, put the coffee pot on. Hear the midnight words of old John Rotten. Happy birthday, dearest dad. Love, your favorite son.